Let me ask you one question. What would you do if you discovered that you held the only archive of a really significant moment in human history? I hope that you'd want to preserve it, but how? That's exactly the question that Philip Clark faced not so long ago. This project is about his choice faced with that decision. It's about leaving a legacy for all mankind and preserving something precious. I found that I was holding archival material that nobody else had, even NASA. And I thought that if something is not done to preserve this history, it will all be lost. My name is Philip Clark. I worked at Australia's Aurora Valley Space Tracking Station, which is in the Australian Capital Territory, for almost its entire life. I was there for 20 years. I started as a very raw technician, finished up as the Senior Operations Supervisor in charge of all of the space tracking operations at that station. Most people know very little about this big world-class tracking station that we had here in Australia. It did not get the publicity and the press and the glamour of men going to the moon or the planets of outer space. But it was a very busy station. It was very important to NASA. It was part of a huge space tracking network around the world. Some 17 stations initially were in this tracking network and Aurora was the biggest outside of the United States. When I was a kid, probably seven or eight years old, I used to build spaceships under my bed and I said, one day I'm going to fly a spaceship. Well, I didn't know then, but just a little over 20 years later, I would fly a spaceship by remote control, or rather, a spacecraft anyway. Mm -hmm. I am one of the few people in the world that has spoken with Russian cosmonauts on the space station Mir and US astronauts on the space shuttle Columbia direct from my car. The amateur radio experiment with the space shuttle on flight number nine took place during orbit 110 when the space shuttle flew almost directly over Melbourne. The story of this is unique. The conversation between the astronauts on the space shuttle and Houston was not recorded by NASA. It was only recorded in Australia and I have copies of that unique recording. A full transcript of this appears in the book. This is something that you can't find anywhere else. Only in this book will you find that story. Why did I leave this great tracking station? Well, it wasn't by choice. It was the best job that I'd ever had, before or after. Believe me, it was the best job that I ever had. I wish it could have continued. I was made redundant when the tracking station closed in 1985. So I was one of the people that walked out the door. In fact, I believe that I was the one that switched out the tracking lights at Australia's Aurora Valley Space Tracking Station. For this reason, it is a legacy of everybody who has worked in the space tracking industry throughout the world, of things that they may not have known, but here they are recorded for future generations. Now, I'm not a young man anymore. I'm not going to get any younger and my health has started to decline. As I wrote this book, I realized that as an individual and a pensioner, I did not have the resources to fully preserve the information. Your help is vital to preserve this unique moment in history. In order to preserve this history as accurately as possible, the book is a large book. It will be about 300 pages produced on quality paper so it can display in full colour the information that has been managed to be archived. I cannot do it alone. I think everyone wants to leave a legacy. This is mine and you can help me do it.